question here for you. Let's see if you can help me get the right answer for this. There, toward the end, it says, um, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Okay, so uh, who said he? He created them. Who's he? God. Okay, God is he. And God created how many different kinds of people? Two. Okay. Three? No, just two. All right. Uh, male and female. God created them. But, but here I have another question for you. It said before that, I read, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Who's us and our? Who's the us means uh, more than one person, right? So who's God talking to? Well, Adam and Eve haven't been made yet. He decided, he's telling somebody let us make Adam and Eve. So Adam and Eve is not talking to. Who's talking to? Well, he's talking to himself. Because himself is how many versions? Three. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is how many gods? One. But there's three persons in the one God. I know that's hard to understand. I don't understand myself. <laughs> but the Bible says that there's a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and they're all God. The Father isn't the Son. Son isn't the Father, but the Father and the Son are God. So there's one God, but there's three persons. So when he said, let us make man, he's, that's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit talking to each other. Because they all were busy uh, as one God creating the whole world. So that's what the, that's an interesting thing. Right even in the beginning of the Bible, we have an indication that God is not only one, but he's also three. And when we have three and one, we call that Trinity. Ever heard of Trinity? The Holy Trinity is the God that we have now. It starts with a T-R-I. What's that mean, T-R-I? Three, right? Well, how many wheels does a tricycle have? So three. How many wheels does a tricycle have? A unicycle has one. How many wheels does it? You, didn't ride, you probably didn't ride, you probably went right to bicycles, which is two. Do you know, Caitlin? Three. Tricycle has three. Uh, how, how many sides does a triangle have? Three. How many bases does a guy who gets a triple get to? You ever play baseball? <laughs> Softball? It's cricket? Ah. <laughs> uh, if you get a triple, you got a three bagger. It means you got the first base, the second base, third base. You got the third base, you got a triple. T R I, triple. So when we say there's the Holy Trinity, we say there's three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but it's unity. Three in one. Unity means all just in one. So this is the interesting God that we have up there. His Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. And that's what we're talking about today in church. So when I give you my sermon, you can find out some more of that. So some in, it's a hard thing to understand. So uh, a fellow by the name of St. Patrick said, 
the Trinity is called something, maybe something like this. How many leaves you see there? How many plants you see there? One, yeah. So there's three in one, kind of like, right? Not exactly the best example, maybe, but uh, with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> but, but so, in order to understand it, sometimes uh, we need a little extra help. So, um, I thought I had another one here. Here it is. So, in the church, you'll sometimes see, like, this is a symbol for the Holy Trinity, too. See, there's three, and the gold is for heaven, green is for everlasting life, and three points, three leaves, that's a symbol for God. This is the Holy Trinity. So if you see a hymn symbol like that somewhere in the church, we're talking about God. All right? So we're going to learn more about the Trinity today. Yeah, and I think you'll probably learn something. I think your mommies and daddies will probably learn something too. Okay? Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for revealing yourself to us in the way you are, even though it's very hard for us to understand you. But you're there, and that's how you are. And you're in us, and you're a he. And we thank you for that. And help us to understand you better and love you more and trust in you always. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.